What's up guys? Welcome back to BA Cars. We got a little something different today. We're at my house. I don't know if you guys remember the white Tesla that we used to work on, the Model S, but it got totaled unfortunately. I'll throw up a picture of it, let you see it. But we do have something new. It's something what we want to kind of introduce to the channel that you may see in, the, in a few episodes. So uh, we ended up purchasing a different vehicle. We've got a 2018 Tesla Model S and has the full self-driving feature. So summoning out of the garage right now and we're going to show you kind of how the full self-driving works. So yeah, me and Logan have a couple of Model 3s and this is my wife's Model S to replace the white one that you guys might have seen a couple of episodes on. So this one has the full self-driving feature. Logan's never been in one with full self-driving. So nope. We're gonna take it out and let him see what $15,000 gets you. Glad I didn't pay for it. All right guys, I got us the destination input right here in my driveway. Uh, we're gonna go up to Dollar General. It's close to Logan's house. It's not too far away and we'll see how good this thing does. I'll pour, I, I've done it out of the driveway before, but it leaves out of here with some pretty good force. So I'm gonna do it on the road. I may have to disengage right up here because it's almost hit the guardrail before. We're at a stop sign. <laughs> Not too smooth. <laughs> this guardrail right here in front of us, uh, it'll hit the brush as you go around through there. So I may have to disengage. I'm going to. Probably not, the, probably not the car's fault, but uh, the brush is kind of sticking out further than it needs to be. So we're back in full self-drive. And I'll, uh, basically all you really have to do is adjust speed. And I don't think there's a speed limit uh, when you're in full self-drive. So I noticed you put it in full self-drive with the left stick. Yeah. Uh, Model S has its own like cruise control stick. Okay. Model 3. He's used to the Model 3. It used the, uh, the same shifter one. stock. Yep. Mm -hmm. And for now, you do have to, it says you, you know, maintain a hand on the wheel. So you still get that warning to maintain your hand on the wheel or whatever, or apply pressure on it. Stop sign up here, probably going to be a little iffy. Right over in the gravel, huh? There's a little bit in the road. They don't care about what's in the road. Not terrible so far. No, no, this is actually pretty smooth. I feel like this is where you would use it though, like on, on major roads, not on the previous road. Right. How does it do in this? We've got a weird turn coming up to where you've got two turn lanes. It's, yeah. Does it screw that up at all? You know, I don't know that I've went that way. Perfect. <laughs> Looks like we're going to the right hand lane. <laughs> I do have to adjust the speed. It went to 30 and 35. Now I've set it on 40. 
so every new road you go to, you have to readjust the speed? I mean, it's supposed to go with, like, I guess what the speed limit is, right? Uh, but sometimes it's not the greatest of that. And here in about, I don't know, a quarter of a mile, maybe half a mile, we're getting ready to merge into one. Yep, we're going to go into, from a four lane to a two lane. Oh boy. Oh wow. Oh wow. A little jerky, <laughs> but it got the job it done. It did it. It did it. I didn't have to intervene there. Yeah. It's going to slam the brakes on. Yes. Yes, it did. <laughs> Would that be smoother if you set your distance a little bit longer? Maybe. Or it would just do it further back? Every time that I've seen somebody turn in front of you, if you're not already right up on them, uh -huh. it'll wait till it gets right up on them and slams the brakes on them. And it doesn't like that either. But mm -hmm. yeah, it done pretty good with that. Yeah. Normally it's going to lock them down right there. Now, is this still considered beta? Yep. So they're still working out some bugs. Yep, and I've got an update schedule right now, so there is another update. Now, I don't know if it'll turn in the parking lot of the Dollar General that we're going to, but we'll find that. And the Dollar General is coming up. Now, we got to cross traffic here. <laughs> and. Autopilot navigation complete. So you have to pull in yourself. Yes, so. All right, so we're gonna see if it'll take us back home. It says I can engage right here, so we're gonna try. Okay, we're going all the way across, huh? Okay. <laughs> Not so good. <laughs> huh. We'll try it again. Oh wow, this will be a good stop sign test. And there's a car coming. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're pulling out in front of them. We, yep. Yes, we are. That done good. They didn't have that, to the brakes. Yeah, that wasn't bad. I probably wouldn't have pulled out in front of that car. No, nope, I'd have waited. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> oh, fast lane, huh? The fast lane. That's interesting. I'll be interested to see what the takeoff here is. No one in front of us. We're racing an infinity. That's right. Pretty that, smooth. Yeah, that was that was a little bit slower than before. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's pretty smooth, other than the stop sign. Everything else seems to be pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. yeah. So once you get it, I guess going. If you're doing streets like this, mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Now it's not going to like this guy slowing down. That's well, pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. Just making I sure. Thought about it. Just making sure. <laughs> I thought about it. Yeah. Now I guess the big question is, what's it worth? In my opinion, it is not. 15,000, not worth 15 grand. Now, maybe in the future, if it gets way better than this, yeah, maybe. Yeah. What what aspects, so you travel quite a bit more than I do. What aspects of it do you like on, let's say, interstate driving? Your standard navigation on autopilot uh, will be just fine for interstate traveling, mm -hmm. and that's six grand. Mm -hmm. uh, enhanced autopilot. Yeah. Uh, Which will change lanes and everything with the signal, right? Yes. Yeah. So, you know, if you're just using it for interstate driving, the enhanced autopilot with the auto lane change would be just fine. What would make it worth 15000 uh, If I could sit in the back seat and it drive me somewhere. 
Would you do that though? Probably not. So we got a left hander coming up across those two lanes of traffic over there. With a turn lane. Luckily, there's no traffic coming. Good thing. <laughs> it doesn't care it about does. how close the guardrail is. Mm. Let's yeah, I mean, overall, I think it's pretty smooth. Um, uh, I agree. I don't think it's worth 15000 but... I know a lot of people kind of make fun of it and say, you know, what a waste, that kind of thing. I think it has its advantages and uses. Mm -hmm. The summon feature may be nice if you're, you know, I park in the back of a parking lot, mm -hmm. always. Um, what if it's a downpour and, you know. But you get summoned with enhanced autopilot. Yep, that's true. So that's part of the $6,000 upgrade. Another, there's a fork in the road down here. This is another interesting spot for this. Sometimes it does great, sometimes not so much. Yeah. I'm expecting a wide Four. turn here. Signal, huh? Oh, 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 oh. Huh. I mean, it done it. It did it, yep. It wasn't pretty. No. No, and that is, again, another weird turn. Uh oh. Not terrible. Not great. All right, guys, that's going to conclude the full self driving video. A little bit different for us, but if it's something you guys like, if it's some content that interests you, let us know down in the comments. We can do more of it, put it in some different situations mm -hmm. and things like that. See if it's something you guys might want to see or consider purchasing, and you know, that'll let you know if it's worth it or not. Yep. Uh, fortunately for me, I did not buy it. It came with the car. This is a, I don't know if I said it or not, it's a 2018 100D Model S. So uh, that full self driving came with it when we purchased it. So, yeah, uh, what do you think about it? You know, I, I think it's smooth. I think. Um a lot of the reviews are harsh for yeah. it. I mean, they, they are. Um, it does have its little quirks that you probably get used to after a little while. Yeah. I, I don't think it's worth 15000 Right. But, I mean, it, it does have some cool features. Yeah, so maybe as they improve on it, it will be worth uh, yep. the fifteen, or, mm -hmm. you know, the, I think the price may increase again. Who knows? <laughs> so, yeah, but at least for now, uh, I think both of our opinions are it's not worth the 15000 It would be worth waiting for it to improve. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you like our content, you like what we do, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. See ya.